And now it's time for barbecue. Oh my gosh, for sisters Deborah and Mary Jones, barbecue is a way of life. When they were little girls, their father set them up on milk crates to look over the pit at the very first Jones barbecue restaurant. More than 30 years later, the Jones sisters still carry on their father's legacy of smoking meats and making their family barbecue sauce from scratch. Yum. Yes, right. And get this. They were recently featured on Queer Eye Season 4 and here to tell us all about it and show us how to make some grade A burn-ins is Debbie Jones of Jones Barbecue, one half of the sisters. Hi. Thank you so much to be here for well, being here today. We're happy to be. I'm happy to be here. Wonderful. Well, full disclosure now, when I before I took this job, I was working right down the street from you guys on K32 and Kansas Avenue. So I feel like I had the sneak peek <laughs> at Jones Barbecue before you guys really blew up. But uh, today, I know you guys are going to make some burn-ins for us. So right. burn-ins is, is pretty much Kansas City Barbecue, right? That's what we're Correct. famous for. Uh, tell us what burn-ins are. Okay, well, first of all, what, what we do is um, to get the beef ready is um, we rinse it off real good, mm -hmm. and then um, we use Lori season salt, and then we use our own special Jones rub and put on it. And then we just take a, you know, cut a little crack in the beef so it can kind of the juices go over both yeah. ways when we start flipping it. And speaking of your seasoning here, I know your sauces have been blowing up on uh, for the sales here recently, but. This is going to be for sale here soon around Labor Day, is that right? Yeah, we're going to try and uh, roll it out right around Labor Day. For okay, mm -hmm. well fantastic. Can you give us a sneak peek of what we can expect with the, with the rub? Is this just what you guys use on all of your meats and all the foods that you make it on at the barbecue place? We use it for at the barbecue place mainly, but uh, we use it at home. Like you can put it on, you know, pork chops, uh, pork steak, you can put it on macaroni and cheese. All right. Green beans, <laughs> things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, once you get your uh, the brisket here in the uh, or the burnings in the smoker, uh, and you start cooking them, how do you tell when they're done? Because do you use a thermometer or? Well, I don't use no thermometer or anything. It's all by sight. And if you really want to know if your brisket's ready, mm -hmm. you can just take and just, you know, just cut it right there. And if if you see just a little line of red in there, yeah, that's to let you know it's ready. Just about ready then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, how long do you guys let that cook for then? about five hours. About five hours in the smoker? And okay. you're constantly turning it and keeping, you know, your temperature up with the wood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the Queer Eye experience. What was your initial reaction when you found out you were going to be on the show? Because I think, obviously, you've had huge success from it, but that first phone call or letter or email or whatever it was <laughs> had to have been kind of trippy, right? Yeah, because, you know, I, when they kind of came, I was like, well, what, what is all these people here for? <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, that's when we knew that, you know, we was going to be on the show. Yeah. It, it really uh, overwhelmed us. It really did. Um, we wasn't expecting it, and it just overwhelmed us. And they were really nice people. Yeah. Real nice. Mm -hmm. So and, uh, then how have you guys rolled along with all of the success? I mean, I've seen you or your sister over at some of the grocery stores here in town selling the sauce and just kind of telling your story and just chatting it up with people. And um, just what all has this has the doors open for you here? Well, uh, since Queer Eye, uh, we have like um, got extra, extra customers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have got yeah. extra, extra attention from yeah. just the public, and we really appreciate that. And also, um, it's been over respon over big response about our sauce mm -hmm. and you know and things like that and uh, it's just it's just been really overwhelming. What do you think sets your sauce off from other barbecue sauces? Well, I just I just feel that um, you know we put a lot of love in it mm -hmm. and not only that um, it's uh, we don't have a lot of things in it. It's just kind of lightly made just so you know. Yeah. It's, Get good for your taste. Good for your taste. Yeah. And it's good for your for your belly too. Yeah. I'm I'm anxious to go uh, just get and wait in line because back when I used to come to you guys didn't have a huge line out there. Now there's a huge line to wait for lunch yeah. anymore. Yeah, so about 30 minutes to an hour. Exactly. Yeah. But we uh, we are looking forward to coming down. I'm gonna I'm gonna have some uh, some burn ins here. I think Sherry. So uh, you I'll I'll get the barbecue ready. I know you are gonna talk uh, some wine. So uh, Debbie, thank you very much okay, for your time today. You. We're gonna toss it over to Sherry.